This video is brought to you by Sutco Transportation. With proven results, high safety standards, and dedicated customer service. At Sutco Transportation Specialist, we understand that managing your supply chain can be a daunting task. That's why we offer end-to-end -end third party logistics solutions to help you streamline your operations and grow your business. Our experienced team will work closely with you to understand your unique needs and develop a customized logistics plan to meet your specific requirements. Head over to satcotransportation.ca and request a free transportation quote right now. Good morning. How are you guys doing today? It's a beautiful warm morning already. It's going to be a hot day. Today's Tuesday, so it's going to be a little bit of work. We're along the Okanagan Lake. Not much of a beach over here. Just north of Penticton. Penticton's down that away. And then we got Summerland, Peachland, and Kelowna that direction. Head up that way. Yeah, I've been uh, struggling getting videos in. I told the boss with the economy being a little bit down to give me longer weekends. Unless he really needs a big rush for vehicles or trucks. Give me a little longer weekend. I don't need to work so hard. I mean, if, 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 he, needs, if he needs the truck, I'll, I'll, do, I'll do my regular weekends. But for now, take a little longer weekend. I didn't even mention the obvious smoke. We have our first forest fire smoke moving in. Smoke is from a Washington fire. Not even sure which Washington fire, it might be more than one. But a Washington fire nonetheless. Definitely moving in, everything's a little hazy, a little smoky. Hopefully just a temporary smoky. And they get those fires under control because the forest is very dry. You can see the grass on the side of the roads are starting to get golden over here. Yeah, with uh, me taking a little longer weekends, like last week, I took a long weekend, a really long weekend. I took a four-day weekend. I went up to Prince George. This weekend, we did a two-and-a-half-day weekend. Because last week, not only did we take a short week, we also sat in Vancouver for two days. So I had to throw in the extra videos I recorded in the past. I only recorded three regular videos and one bonus video. Um, the other channel, the ASMR channel, I haven't shot a video there for that channel for two weeks now. I figured if I can't get to a video, I'll cut that one first. Somebody really locked up their brakes along there. Um, if, if for some reason, that keeps happening. Because we're, we're going to run out of extra videos here pretty quick. If that keeps happening, <clears throat> excuse me, I think I'll start skipping Wednesday for videos. it's kind of hard to get the videos recorded and edited when you take longer weekends like all the time it's my own fault I, I wanted them especially when the economy's not doing the hottest I'm like eh, it's a perfect time to work a little bit less I've got a lot of things I like doing at home like the three J's 
know what I mean. I mean, I like money as much as the next guy, but maybe I don't. Maybe I don't like money as much as the next guy, but money is good. I, I need more money. Also, I don't need to work so hard. I'm, I'm too old for that. I'm getting tired of working so hard, so I need a break. If I if I can get a break somewhere, I'll take it. smoke doesn't stick around. I'm really glad we went outdoors on the weekend and really enjoyed the outdoors and the heat. Gotta enjoy those days as much as possible but because as soon as the summer really hits we just get smoked out all summer. I hope not but last couple of years haven't been bad. We, we've had some smoke but it haven't been too bad. Let's, let's hope this is another, another not too bad year. <clears throat> beautiful, beautiful bluffs along the lake, Okanagan Lake. old glacial lake just a lot shallower than it used to be these bluffs are created by the old lake the beach used to be on top of those bluffs you know how when you walk into a lake all of a sudden the lake gets deep very suddenly those bluffs are the edge of where the lake gets deep very suddenly See that line where the lake used to be? All the way from north of Vernon all the way down to Lake Wenatchee. You see that line, maybe even further. You see a line where there used to be a lake. Maybe not, maybe not that line is clear, but you see the flooding effects down by Wenatchee. going on top of those bluffs and up here it's a very silty very very sandy ground how people build their houses on a silt mountain like that is beyond me but people do a really good earthquake and a bunch of those houses could be in danger do anything for the view, right? Welcome to Summerland.
nice to get the Grand Forks deliveries in, but we'll see how long it takes to load. Said they were going to change the way this construction works over here, so we'll see if they've already changed it. I don't, I don't see the reduced speed for construction zones, so. be going down to 50. Where the actual slide is, but at least this section is now four lane again. Hallelujah. Past this day cab. First time we've driven speed limit here in a long while. Ah, oh, Barry and Smith. Big cab. All the cones are missing. I'm assuming at the at the slide we'll still be just down to two lanes, but sure nice driving at speed over here again. save us a lot of time. Instead of driving 50 here, 100. Now we go down to 50. Why they didn't do this at the beginning is beyond me. This makes a lot more sense. Check out the lake from up here. It's just a beautiful view. Or the slide on the left. Which has taken a long time to work on. When did that slide happen? It's been a good long while, right? Like last year sometime.
I like that construction zone way more than it, the old way. That's the way it should have been on day one. Well, maybe not day one, but you know, week week two or three that should have been set up this way already. smoky up here, so it's just my imagination. Yeah, that resume speed sign should be away earlier, so that, that still needs to be fixed, but... signs of construction ahead. these viewpoints of the lake. So today is Tuesday. That means deliver this load, hopefully part of it today, part of it tomorrow. I wonder if we'll load something in Wednesday down there. I think we're taking a break from the big blue lamp panels. That's why the bosses had no problem giving me the day off. Once we're doing those panels, I'm not getting long weekends on those, on those weeks. Those panels are high priority loads. back to the lake.
Welcome to Peachland. I guess we'll Antler Beach first, huh? How wide is wide load? I don't have my radio on. That's not bad. Not bad. Just the barely enough. Pretty that when it's back in the morning, right? Now we're going to have to deal with the heat. Barely enough that they need a pilot car. Sun is the historic Peachland. Welcome to historic Peachland. Antler Beach over here. If you're ever traveling through here, swing left on that little road. Hardy Road, I think it's called. Park there, at, just a little way up the road. Park there and walk down those trails. Hardy Falls, nice little walkway. It's, it's like a dirt gravel walkway, but definitely wheelchair accessible if you got the right wheels on your wheelchair. Quite beautiful. the drought we've got going on, they've really held back the lake water and just letting the minimum amount of water flow through the channel. The channel must be really boring to float along because it's a slow flowing channel. What the heck is that? Geese? They're all Canadian geese. What? How do you hit like four Canadian geese? Crazy. That never happens. You never see one Canadian goose hit, let alone four? historic downtown Peachland. Um, it used to be called something else. Um, it was a camp. It was an old gold rush camp here. Long before it was called Peachland. Uh, Sycamus would paddle up over here, steam power. We actually went into the SS Sycamus this weekend. Walked through the museum. It's 10 bucks a person. Well worth it. Something I, I spent enough time in there this time to realize that the SS Sycamus is missing a whole floor used to have an additional floor of luxury suites for the rich peoples. But eventually in the 30s... Here's that guy in that Nelson that's got the H.O. for sale there. I'm thinking, uh, there's another boat thing. He's got a shitload of stuff there, man. It's too bad it's so far away. I don't think. And that's why I leave the radio off.
So you know, the luxury top floor got only like a third of it is left. They chopped it off and got rid of it because getting rid of it, well, first off, nobody was booking the luxury suites. They were having one and a, one and a quarter bookings on average through the year. So you don't need all those suites. Second off, if you get rid of them, lower the crosswind wind speed and lower the weight, they saved two tons of coal a day running the steamer. And 6% less maintenance cost because you didn't have to maintain those luxury suites on the top. So they just chopped the whole or three quarters of the floor off and then the Texas deck on top of those luxury suites got chopped off and uh, the uh, captain's steering wheel the bridge got lowered a whole floor and then eventually they got rid of all the suites on the main floor not really suites all, all the all the rooms on the main floor knocked them all out and it just became a cargo ship. But those rooms have been rebuilt. refurbished the way it would it used to be what it would have been back in the day they've done a few things that are not original like the floor used to be very very rounded and they've they've flattened it out a bit put a false floor on the bottom so it's flattened out a bit so it makes a nice dance floor for weddings and stuff our reception hall for a wedding You know, that way they can have income today's day and age. It's really neat. It used to used to paddle up and down the Okanagan Lake, all the way from Penticton up to Vernon. A whole bunch of stops along the way. Yeah, it was I think it was, they said it was built in Ontario and then disassembled, put out to 17 train cars and brought here to Okanagan and got put to re reassembled over here. And it was powered basically by a steam train. They got a huge steam train boiler inside with a big steam train pistons on the inside to turn the, the paddle on the back. The big paddle wheel. But like the big boiler looks exactly like a train boiler. I believe that's because it is just a train boiler. Welcome to West Kelowna. I think we'll drive through West Kelowna and probably call it a day there. Because Kelowna is still quite a way away. And who wants to see a bunch of traffic? And I'm a day late on recording videos. I, I gotta get these out a little quick if at all possible.
you ever traveling north over here and after leaving West Kelowna your next stop is Kalamalka Lake consider taking West Side Road up to Vernon and loop around the top of the lake it's a little longer but the viewpoints along the West Side Road it's a narrow two-lane highway carve it along the lake just beautiful maybe someday we'll bring a big rig up that road but I doubt it that might have to be saved to our RV days Well, that kind of is downtown, but downtown really is the other direction. Southbound on 97, that is more the original downtown. So we're not seeing West Kelowna in the best, the best light. It, it always looks prettier going southbound. Drive below speed. Don't get people like that. Why why was it necessary to cut right in front of me? was downtown West Kelowna, formerly known as West Bank. I still like West Bank better than West Kelowna, but it is what it is. West Kelowna continues rolling through the hills this way as we keep going. You'll still see signs like this. It says West Bank Hub Center. A lot of the places are still called West Bank. That's a reason you read West Bank everywhere. That is what I believe. Well, this isn't native land here. I believe, if I'm correct, everything on native land is still called West Bank. It's just the actual town of West Bank that has been changed to West Kelowna. And I was talking about traffic. Good thing we're ending the video because we're going to have nothing but bumper to bumper traffic. For the next half hour and then there's mission kind of off to our right hand side mission winery and then Kelowna across the bridge but we're gonna call it a day because this this exactly this thank you guys so much for watching I'm indeed out of here. You guys absolutely rock.